Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our career playthrough in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Marine, in the new Mandate of Heaven a DLC. Let's carry on. Underhanded rogues in Yarkand. Well, they'll get the good news soon. They'll get all the good news. Hordak and Coruscant now. Of course, it was Kokan that. Isolated Ladakh. But we don't have a CB. Of course we don't have a CB. So, declaring on Coruscant, on Kokand, <coughs> isolates Ladakh. We can drag them. Have some alliances. So until I get my claim, let's uh let's butter up to Brunei. In lieu of sending our colonist down there. And you lot are marching back. From Japan. Because we go scared of Russia. And then suddenly Russia flipped. To be happy with us again. I I don't I don't know how. I don't know how they can go from It was like plus eighty one to minus seventy something. And back to plus 81. I don't know. They suddenly wanted our provinces, and then they suddenly didn't. Military? Yep, gone. We can take sec, but we're not taking tech at 120, because that's ridiculous. We're going to wait until... This. So, kind of, maybe, perhaps. I mean, if we fall too far behind, then we might. We're not, we might pay over the odds. Can temp prestige, I'll gain one base tax in Komi. Take the base tax. And looks like our ships are done. Our right, ships. I have jobs for you. Many jobs. Protect trade in Nippon. Off you go. How are we for trade anyway? 6.25 ducats. 6.29 ducats. Um, we should really be moving our trade around. We do have land in the Beijing node. No, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait until we get get down to Malacca. I'll wait until we've got some got merchant ideas as well. Get a few more merchants. Trade ideas even. What what is up with you? I know, I know I'm not giving you any attention. That's because I'm doing my thing. I know. Silly. Okay. More ships. Eighty-five. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Lose thirteen ducats because no one wants to work. I don't think so. I'm not going into debt for such a horrific. Event. No way. Leave that there for now. Ottoman conquest. Oh, no. Ottoman conquest of what? Persia, where have you... You should know not to touch the Ottomans. At some point they're going to kick your door down. Chains on you in half. Let's take... Something. Probably this one. That's what I mean before. In some of the ages, these are useful. In some of the ages, I mean, why would I need mercenary discipline plus five? 
I don't use mercenaries. Mercenaries are too expensive now. Almonds are allied with Cyprus, non entity, Bohemia, and Iraq. So you're going to be fighting this and this. No. 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 We are far too far behind on tech to deal with either of those. No. Sorry. We're not in a position to fight people that are outside our tech range. Can we make states? Of course we can. <clears throat> Brunei, are you friendly? Kind of. Nope. Changes to do confunction. Good. Confusion, even. Proof relations. Yeah, I reckon if we colonize down here, Brunei shouldn't. I mean, they'll still want our provinces. They should be alright. Why do you want access? They are at war. Sind is at war with Delhi. So why do you need to come through my land? No. Oh. Cindy used to be friends with Delhi. So it's an aggressive attack against Coruscant. Do we not have claims on... Uh... Nope, stay in Russia. Come back from Brunei. Do we not have claims on Coruscant? Now will be the time. Ooh, trade efficiency till the end of the game. Oh yeah, because we're harmonized harmonized with the Muslim faith. Trade efficiency till the end of the game. Plus five percent. So why would you ever why would you ever 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 send missionaries into these places now? You get production efficiency for this guy, we get infantry combat ability plus five percent. For harmonizing with this guy it's just it's good stuff. Anyway, one day, Sind and Yarkand. Only Ladakh. Daily, what attack are you on? 13. I don't really want to be messing with 13. 10. At least Yarkand and Coruscant are comparable. Even Kokand. Next year, Trees of Khorasan is over. We do have claims. We'll see. We'll see who's willing to jump in on war fights. What the dark themselves? get a few more ships. I will also increase our maintenance because it looks like something is going to kick off with our rebels soon-ish. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. You look. Continues the Nippon and more ships. Kazaki Separatists. Okay. Kazaki Separatists, whereabouts are you going to be? Aksari. Aksari? Here we go. Can we create autonomy with you yet? We can't. We're a long way away. How many can you support? 21. How about we just send a 
the maximum that you can uh, that you can take. You're now ticking down, which is good. And that will have enough weight to stop. Three point six. We'll give it a go. should take all the way down to zero now once that's done we'll see what we can uh, what we can do down here see how we can get involved at some point somebody is not going to accept the call probably looking at Coruscant we attack, we attack Yarkand without Coruscant coming in it means that we don't end up with a truce with Coruscant. No you can't. I mean I want you to win, but I want you to win the hard way. What's the autonomy? No. Okay. I'm not losing the stability further. And chips. There we go. How much of this was the pirates? None. They must be privateering this node. Alright. So you lot don't need to be hunting pirates anymore. Just protect trade in Nippon. Let's get some more ships. And at some point, Coruscant won't protect you. To that end, we're already straight onto the capital there. Spine networks. Spine networks will not save you. Go and fabricate some kind of claim so that when our truce runs out, we can get on you. Yep. Yeah, I kind of well up for that fight. Sind, not so much. Depends if Coruscant feels the same way about Yarkand though. 34 reasons. Coruscant's got a lot of debt. That war exhaustion is only going to go up. Occupied and besieged provinces. Yeah. I don't know. Has somebody else declared war on the, on the Delhi? Nope. I wonder why they had all these. Occupied by Khorasan. Occupied by Sindh. I might just have to straight up war Delhi. There are a couple of techs ahead of us though. And we'd need a fort in order to well get anything out of it. Forts in hills, not nice. Are you come back from Kokand? Hmm. 
I mean, between Delhi and Ladakh, they do have, what, 40 odd thousand? Hmm. That should be enough. That should be enough to make things happen over there, especially at the techs ahead that they are. Hosokawa will get involved, but Hosokawa is. His liberty desire, desire is through the roof. Russia. Minus 18 on trust, yep. Yeah. Well, we're getting close to the Ottomans. There's no way we could have fought the Ottomans. Not at that tech, that amount of tech behind. Mm -mm. Well, it looks like Khorasan uh, with Yarkand is pushing back. Okay. Send one Yarkand. Would worrisome. Are you in your own little coalition against me? I think you are. Yeah, we'll take this instead then. Before you can drag other people into a coalition against us. So it's going to be Ladakh and Kokand. You stay there. You march straight into Ladakh. Get into the mountains before they can. Oh no. Goodbye, bye, Carson. We could do with them unseaging this, but we can take out Kokan. Alright. No, you can't. Oh, legitimacy will come up. I'm alright with that. Declare war. Not bring you in as a co belligerent. Entering coalitions. What does he think he is? Do you not know who we are? did to come in, didn't they? Good. We might have this. Just. We'll dump a lot. We'll dump a decent amount of people on there. Again, being the defender in mountains. Well, they become the defender in mountains because we're on their siege. But yeah, and let's put our colonist out somewhere, shall we? Off you go. More on here than we need, but I don't want. Oh, good stuff. I don't want Ladakh getting some lucky breaks, some lucky rolls. Fine as. Yeah, I can't. Ladakh won't, Coruscant wouldn't. It's down to 20. Our war's still going on. Who are you actually fighting? 
the jack and piece out. Nope. They pieced out the deck. Which also means that I don't think Yarkand will be able to get through. To help Coruscant out. I don't know. We'll have to observe where this, these stacks go. Once we've taken what we want. Aggressive expansion with Coruscant and Coruscant. Don't care. Good provinces, and by good I mean it gives us access to Gouge and it's also in the mountains. This is where you put your forts. Probably where we'll put one of our forts. Probably here actually, maybe? No. I don't know. Either or. Either or will be fine. Also give us more, gives us more to claim upon with Delhi. Now, Kokand. We declared over Kokand proper. However, it's a lot of aggressive expansion that might even bring Delhi into a coalition against us. It's going to be cheap. Just you. Well, it brought Ladakh in to this fight. And Ladakh themselves, if we were to declare on them just on them. I think it was going to bring Mark and Delhi in, all sorts. So we've got what we wanted from fighting the coalition, as it were. Chucks you into a 10 year truce. Means you can't join it for a while. Warups. All the money. Now let's try and keep our coalition in this area down a little bit. Don't mind Coruscant joining. A little by little. We'll just nibble bits away from Kokan. Until it no longer exists. Now. I don't think that Yarkon can now get through to support Coruscant against Delhi. Which will mean, at some point, Coruscant won't want to come in and save Yarkon from our clutches. Right, well with Coruscant and Yarkon. Decline. Persia. Persia. Oh no. Like separatists, it's all right. Any troops that have been exiled as part of fully annexing a, a country, they will make their way back to the capital, no matter where about on the map they are. They'll be black flagged and they'll go back to the capital. Will they be black flagged? I don't know. Probably. But yeah, and they will go back to the capital. So if you know, if you're if you fully annex a country, and you know those troops out there, station people in the capital. In the old capital, and it'll just wipe up the little rebel stacks. They'll uh, make their way back. Now, Persia, you stupid fool. If I say accept to this, it allows Yarkand through my lands to you. If I say no to this, you just fight Khorasan one on one. Now, do you really want military access? No. Neither do I want to give it to you. There we go. 
Trees of Pleasure has expired. So there will be a point. There's the point. Let's stack on Yarkand. We go straight up through the uh, through the the straight there. What's this? Mountains. I think Yarkin has quite a few troops. Not that I'm scared of them or anything, but... No, only 10,000. 10,000 probably here, in the hills, in the mountains. Let's send you around. So we'll come in from three directions. Got a fort here, which should stop them. I don't know, maybe, maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll have to find out. We already have claims. Coruscant won't join in. Cuban separatists, eh. I will increase those on me where we can. Which is nowhere. A little bit in Ladakh. Ooh. This is good. Settle chance plus 5. Global settler increase plus 25. Nice. And we've got ships. We've had ships for a while. I just ignored them. They can have sure leave. Protect trade in Nippon. And off we go. Looks like it's got to the point where we can demand some more stuff off these guys. Are you on place? Soon. So 18 on 10 in the mountains with a leader. A little bit more confident with that. We should be able to support them with this 15 stack. 15 stack will get to here. And then depending on what the situation is here, we can break off one, send 14 into support. Again with here, we get straight into the Arkham, but it allows us access. This is the only fort in the area, I believe. But that will do for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. That is almost another 30 minute episode, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we, we've, we've taken little bits and pieces off, well, the entirety of Ladakh because, well, he was friends with Kokand and they entered a coalition. Yeah, I, I, I know, I'm telling them, it's, it's nearly, yeah, it's time to go. I know, it's, we've, we've been playing this for far too long now. So, well, now that Yarkand can't get through to support Coruscant, Delhi can now just focus on Coruscant. Will you stop? That's the microphone. So, uh, looks like he's pieced Tind out separately. Yep. So now he is just focusing on Coruscant. But because we took the deck, we isolated Yarkand out of it, which means they can't support. Which means Coruscant is getting his teeth kicked in. And now he won't accept my call to war. So we'll go to war with Yorkand. And, uh, and take bits and pieces from him. As is the way. And Russia still don't want the lights. But at least they also don't want to eat us. Which is nice. And how are we for tech? 3.6% It's working It's working Dylan 
could do with taking Carson Land actually. They have Renaissance. They also have a little bit of uh, colonialism. Or is that Persia that's embraced it? It's Persia. Yeah, I can still wood. Oh well, we'll see uh, if they're so happy to get involved once we finish with them. We might break that alliance actually. Because us us fighting Yarkand now, without Khorasan coming in, means we can take bits from Yarkand. We can immediately go to war with Khorasan because we won't have a truce with them. Because they won't have got involved. But if we break that alliance, it means that even if Yarkand have had their teeth kicked in, even if after having their teeth kicked in, they're up for the fight, if we break the alliance, then they just can't. They can't come in and support Khorasan. And we'll take some more provinces in this area. I don't with a, a border with Persia probably. Yeah, being three techs behind militarily is a bit scary. Alright. I don't know. 1,133 military points for the next level, I don't know. If this shit is a fan, we might be able to get a tech. But, no. Long term goal is wait for that spread rate, that, that tech spread, and uh, save our points. Anyway, I've been looking rain. This has been Dylan. You as always have been amazing. Join us next time. For when. Uh, when we eat little bits of Yarkand, open up for Caradel, so we can eat them as well. We we get in on Gouge, then Nepal and Cam and Cock and Lol Cock, uh, and then down into these areas. Uh, also bits and pieces of Corazan, and we continue to colonize down here. You want my provinces, don't you? Nope. Good. And this is our first foray into the Malacca node, which is where we will eventually end up in terms of our trade. We want to be collecting down here. Off you go. So, until next time, do take care.